That's the trail going across Cole Creek. You gotta go up that valley a little bit to get to the Ammonite. So this is Cole Creek, a little log crossing. And I think we have to go that way a little bit. There is definitely coal within the uh, rocks here. It's river worn, but here's a specimen right here of coal. A little bit lightweight. So from Coal Creek where I indicated earlier, you venture about 200 or so feet down, then you'll see a faint trail to your left. It goes into the woods. Just the bushes. This is the way up. Yeah. Following through kind of this open gully here. So we're here at the Ammonite. This is it right here. It's maybe four or five feet across as well as wide. This part's all intact. You can see all the serrated ribbing on the outside. And then it coils around to the very center here. When I was first found, it was a bunch of geology students who thought it was a fossil truck tire. And then they uh, had somebody come up here and identify it as, I don't remember what the exact species was, but the giant ammonite. And it's just sitting right alongside this creek here. Right outside the town of Fernie. Here's the outer layer, right here. It's my hand for scale. I think it ends right there. And of course this part is just kind of the cast. The uh, original part here is missing, but this part's still here. And you could just see. Still in very good condition. There's a coal seam in this rock. It's in the matrix. You can see the coal. At Coal Creek. And just a couple hundred feet up to uh, back to our car. <laughs> 